All right, uh, we're going in now. Volunteer forces in transit. Oh, nice. So my guys are going to come in. If they don't get shot down or something. Um, Japan joined the Axis. All right, so we are at war with the Axis, if I'm correct. France is losing this push. Oh, God. Uh, all right, all right, we're not, all right, okay, hold on, let me think about this for a second. So, Japan joined the Axis, my dudes have left, we're getting shot down already. So we are at war with Japan, if I'm correct. Okay, so we're at war with Japan, Germany, and Italy. Um, so the Soviet Union should be able to make a move on them now. Oh, they took all their guys off their border. Oh, God. So we have actually landed in Argentina, and we have taken their capital. Uh, can No, 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 no. Everybody has to open stuff up now. I was hoping the paratroopers would do it for me, but... Uh, we probably want to put some more into here. Alright, if we can capitulate, Argentina will be good. For some reason... These guys aren't going down. Uh, People's Republic of China wants to sign a non-aggression pact. I'll say yes to them. Um, all right, what's Germany doing? What are our, what's what's uh, the Soviet Union doing as well? Because uh, we're actually at war with Japan now, so hopefully they haven't gained. Really? Actually, no, wait, no, uh, this is Soviet territory, isn't it? Oh, no, this is not Soviet territory. In fact, the Soviets are actually moving in on the Japanese. See, if I hadn't helped out, this would have been a much harder war, but now Japan only has Korea, not their puppet states, and Germany... Oh, whoops, zoomed in on the wrong one. I don't know why France isn't pushing. It looks like France is starting to push in. Okay, they've called in a, their puppet state that I've already been fighting for a while now. But that's fine, you know. I mean, they're they're almost dead, actually. And the Soviets should be able to move in now. So good job, Soviet Union. Uh, how is the sandwiching like maneuver going? Uh, not bad. There's some Chinese forces in here. Uh... Okay, uh, we have, like, sort of established a bit of a... Okay, this is gonna be a nightmare. We're making some progress, uh, into Japan. Uh, Japan, great, I'm a retard. Into Argentina. Uh, they should be pretty close to capitulation, actually. And then I'll send some dudes over to deal with, um... Germany. I don't know how this is going to go. We are actually taking out uh, whatever you want to call these guys. Why do I have a transport plane? What? These guys aren't even doing anything. Oh! Oh! Wait! That's actually really good because that means that um, the People's Republic or the Soviet Union will get all their land. It, they capitulated to normal China, which is weird. Hopefully China will give that up. So they should all be going down for Japan now, and that war should be over pretty easily. Um, how is France doing in the south? Alright. Ace pilot promoted, that's nice. Alright, France has pushed into Italy a little bit. They've gotten through the hills. Uh, they're running on the Maginot. It's kind of hard for me to send guys over there. Alright, special forces. We might be able to get some marines and land in Japan. I doubt it. Don't know why I'd be able to land in Japan. That'd just be weird. Uh, get rid of that Argentinian pocket because that's going to cause us a lot of, uh... It's going to cause us a lot of, like, attrition. Uh, how long till these guys get here? Oh, actually, uh, yeah, we're almost there. They should capitulate. We should... Uh, Argentina's pretty close. So, we're at war with these guys, and already, there's only three guys left, and it's just the Great Powers. German Reich claims Mimol. Uh, that's not good. 
I don't know what Mimo does actually. I think Mimo is like that bit uh, near. Yeah, Mimo's like this bit right here. I don't know why they bother to claim that tiny piece of land. The Germans are doing naval invasions. Sink Yang joined the common turn. Thank you, Sink Yang. I, did, I thought you were already in it, but whatever. Um, it keeps giving me the notifications. All right. Uh, Japan's got a little pocket up here. So are we going to push into Korea, guys, or what? what's going on? What is this border gory mess down here? So the Soviet Union called Tanutuva in. Oh, wait. Oh, did they capitulate? No, Argentina hasn't capitulated yet. Just yet. I don't know what their capital is now, though. Uh, we need to bring more guys down south. Uh, just generally to this area. Um... Uh, we have their capital. They should probably capitulate, like, relatively soon. Uh, we're gonna want some guys over there so he doesn't get cut off. Alright, we'll take that bit. We should be def- we definitely are winning. Oh, these guys didn't have a leader? Argentina capitulated. Nice. Alright, so that's- Oh, that- that's beautiful, actually. All right, so we'll start. Venezuela, I believe, is already in the Axis, so... Okay, uh, we need to get our dudes up there right now. As I say that, of course, Venezuela joins the Axis. They're going to call them in, like, any second now. Hopefully, it won't be too hard to take them out. Uh, let's get a front line going on Venezuela. They're gonna call them in, like, any second now. Yep, they've called them in. Uh, can I draw the front line, please? Alright, they are hostile. Oh, guy killed over the English Channel. Alright. Peru joined the Axis. What the hell? Why is everybody in South America joining the Axis? Because they're scared of me. Because I'm so much more powerful. Alright, and we'll take you. Actually, no, I'll keep you on. Do I have a border with... I don't think I share... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so for some reason it says I'm in two wars. The Brazilian-Argentinian War, and then there's the Volunteer Forces. Okay, here we go. So, um, these guys have capitulated. Um... War participation, 1%. Italy has 0%. How many casualties has... Um... Alright, so... This is the Asian War. So this is the good one. So this is... Argentina has taken 6k. French Commune has already taken 18k. Jesus Christ, what are they doing? Brazil's taken 19k because we're actually fighting. Oh god, please tell me France is pushing in. Okay, they are... Are they holding the Maginot? God damn it, France! They've landed behind you! Oh my god. Okay, can I just ask why the Soviet Union took control of that state? Like, can I just ask them for control of state? Uh, ask for con- No, no, cancel. Ask for control of state. Please? Soviet Union, you dick. I shouldn't have called them in so early. You know what? Don't even prepare. Just run right into their country. I don't even care. Oh, France is sending guys down, I think. Oh, no. They're just fighting a naval battle. Oh, that's right, because we have colonies and stuff out here. I think we're going to win this war against the Axis, because they're, like... Look at these guys. They've got 14 guys defending, and we've already broken through the wall. These guys are repelling the naval invasion already. They're trying to use mountain troops. France is doing a pretty good job, I think. Um, they, they had to stop at this river, I feel like. Meanwhile, in Asia, um, all right, everything looks pretty normal out here. I can't really send in guys yet. Uh, the Soviet Union's not really doing anything. Uh, what's Germany up to? So Germany is at war with the People's Republic and all that. 
they're guaranteeing Spain, and they're justifying on Belgium. And my question about that is, like, if they justify on Belgium, will Belgium join the Allies or the Axis? Because Belgium is really, really democratic. So if they join the Allies, potentially we could have a two-faction uh, versus one going with Germany. How long do these guys get to there? 39 days. Great. Do I have any divisions near... Um, yeah, we do. We have a couple. Might as well send them over to... Um, I think we're being naval invaded. Oh, no. We're just fighting. We're just fighting Germans. Uh, and we're fighting the remains of the Argentinian Navy, it looks like. I cannot believe the Soviet Union took over that one bit of Argentina. It's so annoying. In Africa, though, uh, it's too bad the British aren't involved, because if the British got involved, we'd just be wrecking left and right. For some reason, France isn't moving in with their guys. They're just letting them sit there. Alright, so that, they're now losing all of these attacks in Italy, which isn't great. Uh, they're kind of losing in Germany. Yeah, they're losing in Germany, because they decided to like go way too deep into their territory. They are doing a decent job at killing them, though. Uh, I don't think the Soviet Union is doing anything in Asia. Actually, it looks like they're doing a little bit. All right. Actually, yeah, no, no, no. I can see. I can see they're pushing in. I thought I saw some Japanese divisions there. Oh, it's auto saving. The nice thing is, I don't even have to justify on like Peru and Venezuela, which I figured I was going to have to do. So all I have to really do is justify on Bolivia, and then. Colombia, and we'll own pretty much all of South America. I don't really want to pull us into the war with the British. Uh, I'm just really curious about how it's going to go with Belgium, because, you know. Oh, alright, so how's the training going? Alright, uh, the mobile infantry, for some reason, has done that stupid thing where it disappears. And we're doing a lend lease with the People's Republic of China. Oh, God, I didn't even know we were doing that. Um, alright, so we're almost actually inside enemy uh, provinces. Because the provinces in South America are pretty large. And these guys will be here. When will they get into their country? 16 days. Alright, so we'll, we'll capitulate Peru in under 16 days, which is good. And then we'll have... Um, oh wait, is this guy my level 4 general? Yeah, he is. Why is he guarding? Whatever. Uh, meanwhile, how is France doing? Have they... Oh, yep. Yeah, they've revitalized their push. It looks like they might actually be defending now. I can't quite tell. Uh, is this guy attacking? The Germans, I think, are definitely on the defensive on this one. I didn't even know Peru was fascist as well, so, you know. As long as, uh, Belgium joins the Allies... Uh, oh, Britain is guaranteeing their independence, so who knows? This could actually end up going really well for us. I can't wait for the um, peace deal. Uh, that'll be interesting. I might be able to nab a bit of Germany. Uh, that'll be really good. All right, so the People's Republic are pushing in, but not nearly good enough. Oh, well. I mean, whatever. Okay, so good news. We are, in fact, pushing into Venezuela now. It's uh, all coming according to plan. And we are actually pushing into Peru as well. Um, the push on Peru is going better than on Venezuela, though, that's for sure. These South American countries just love to build artillery. I have no idea why. Uh, Brazil's starting to get pretty big, though. Uh, we can definitely open up some of this stuff. Like, it's just not being used at all. And, you know, we're getting close to their capital. Alright, so we'll be there in one day, which is good. Uh, the communist nations of the world seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, France is once again pushing in. They've gotten rid of the naval invasions that were on their border, which is good. It's ironic, actually, that the Axis has landed in Normandy. Um... France looks like they're just trying to go out so that they can take the um, west wall of Germany. 
And I think the reason they're going to take the West Wall is so that they can just hold up there. Uh, Italy is probably pushing against them now again as well. Yeah, they're losing in Italy. But if we can capitulate Germany and Italy, it uh, will be good. Because they don't really have puppet states yet. Oh, yep. And it looks like the... Um, we've taken Saul. I don't know why they went like that, but okay. Alright, we're still pushing in. Zog submits to Italy, the Albanian government. Oh, so Italy just took over Albania. Which is, you know, not great, but we'll capitulate Peru in a moment. Oh, we have a national focus open. Uh, can we get this extra research slot too? Oh yeah, I was already going for that, I forgot. Uh, meanwhile, we're actually not winning in Venezuela, which is kind of annoying considering the fact that our army's better. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, put put push north, push north. Um, they don't have too much left, but at least we'll capitulate another one of the filthy Axis members. Uh, hopefully we can just do. All right, we should we should take the capital by now. All right, so they have Venezuela on their side, and they. Okay, so let's see what happens. German Reich declares war in Belgium. Belgium, please do the sensible thing. Join the Allies, not the common turn. All right, Belgium's probably applying to join the Allies. Jesus Christ. Yes, Belgium joined the Allies. Which means that Germany should be at war with the Allies any second now. France, you better hurry up and get some dudes on that border. Come on, Belgium, come on. Join the allies. If I'm correct, I think Belgium is actually in the allies now. Hold on. Um, Belgium is... They're in the allies. They're at war with these guys. Um, I will do a non-aggression pact with Belgium. Even though they hate me. Oh. Well, they said yes, probably because we were fighting. So who is Germany at war with? Are they at war with the Allies and the Comintern now? So they are at war with... Oh no, we're actually at war with them. Okay, so they're... Germany is at war with... So Germany declared war on the Allies. And then the the Comintern declared war on Germany. Is Poland in the Allies yet? Let's see. Uh, not yet. So we're still pushing in. Um, it's it's pretty minimal right now. France is actually losing ground again. Yep, they've lost a province already. So Italy's Italy's back at it again. Meanwhile, um, China is pushing in as well into Korea. And what are we doing? Well, we're just capitulating people, um, as usual. Small South American nations that can't defend themselves is what we're doing right now. I don't even feel bad about it considering the fact that these guys joined the Axis. So it's not like they didn't know what they were doing. They knew what they were getting into. Like, it, it wasn't just, oh yeah, I might join the Axis. Oh really? Yeah, I think I'll join the Axis. It was like, they, they said, like, Germany was like, okay, do you want to join the Axis? And then they were like, yes. Or they said, Germany, can we join the Axis? And Germany was like, yeah, sure. They were just attack. All right, actually, let's stop that. Why, why, why are you taking like the stupidest provinces ever? Ugh. All right, so Peru literally capitulated the second I stopped recording. So now we can throw all of our stuff into uh, Venezuela, which is good. Don't think there's anybody else left in South America. And then we can go and help out in, let's see, should I help out in Europe or Asia first? So everything seems to be going pretty well. Italy looks like they're going to try naval invasion. But um, on the other hand, Venezuela is still not giving up. So we're going to send in the tanks, obviously. Uh, probably send in some more infantry as well. These guys are just not even going in. 
Venezuela is holding out pretty well. I think they just have really well trained divisions or something like that. But um, the Allies have declared war on the Axis now, so I don't know how this is going. Oh, I'm sorry, the Axis, they're at war. That's all I gotta say. I'm waiting for Poland to get to the point where it's like, oh, they're gonna invade us. What's Germany doing right now? They're probably doing like anti common turn pack or something like that. Oh, wow, they're really communist. Jesus. I tried to avoid war with you, Germany. We tried to make you communist, but whatever. If they. Oh, they'll never have an election, will they? So they'll never fully be communist. Huh. Meanwhile, China is making semi gains, but it's probably going to lose in Korea. Uh, yeah, I think we've done pretty well. Do I have any bombers? Close air support. Do I have anything else? All right. We, we probably have free military factories, right? Mm, we don't, actually. Okay, so we have some free civilian factories. Um, why are we doing a land lease? W land lease? Why are we doing a land lease with the French commie? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, all right, so we need some more military factories, that's for sure. But uh, the only way I think I'm going to get them is by capturing Venezuela. Because Jesus... And I think some country wants an alliance with me. Okay. I'll say yes to that, because they're fighting the Axis. Alright, we're starting to win down here. Do we have an, like, airfield anywhere near here? We actually do have an airfield, so we might as well drop some planes. Do we have some close air support? Yeah, we do. We have a lot of close air support, actually. Jeez. This is the best air place I have, and we're going to put priority on high... Um, and we have aces as well. Alright, we're going to want to be doing strikes on everything. Probably as well as, um, oh, we got some interwar bombers too. Actually, you know what? I don't want to use the bombers. Uh, just because, like, you know. Do we have any fighters? Where are all of our fighters? We got 34, that's it. I think we have them in the south. And when they get here, their missions are going to be air superiority. Um, I think our fighters are just in the south, honestly. We have still not taken this. Jesus. Alright, so Belgium uh, will provide us some equipment. British Raj wants to sign a non-aggression. Sure. Uh, why not, right? Uh, nothing bad ever came out of, like, agreeing with the British Raj. Okay, I think that my guys are starting to get ready to deploy now. Have, have they auto-deployed? Oh, no. They might have auto-deployed. There's just one little patch of Soviet Union that's really pissing me off. It's just right in the middle of my country. Also, um, I was going to start justifying on Bolivia. So let's just take a look at... Oh, they're actually going fascist. Um... Yeah, so I actually will justify on them. Why not? And that made a really weird noise when I started justifying. These guys should actually be able to start attacking. Yep, we're winning. Alright, so our plane should be here by now. Uh, yep, they're here. Uh, well, the fighters aren't here yet. High priority as well. Um... Yeah, that's right. I was going to the south to check where all of our fighters were. Uh, as long as we can win this war in the north. Because I think, yeah, because there are actually planes here. These are just transport planes, so we don't really need those, but, you know. Where are all of our fighter planes? Oh, wait, are they in the, like, Soviet Union area? Oh, man, that'd be crazy if they were. Ah, uh, these guys are still being deployed. Jeez. Hold on, I think I have fighters over the Soviet Union. Just in general. Uh, I still, by the way guys, I still don't have my interwar uh, stuff out done yet because it seems to be working pretty well for me. Yep, I do. Alright. How fast will it get shut down? Alright, do we want to, where do we want to put them? Uh, we have air superiority. Doesn't look like they're doing anything against us. 
As long as we have some air support. I'm fine not using my fighters in South America, just as long as we have some air superiority over that area, because, you know. Alright, we're slowly pushing into Venezuela now. It's taking forever.